Track Palmer here with another video. This time it's about repairing a Hoover vacuum that shuts off after a short period of use. This normally happens when the motor gets too hot which is normally caused by some blockage in the system. This vacuum is designed to shut off when it reaches a certain temperature and it will not be able to turn back on until the temperature drops. I will guide you through the steps for repairing this issue and the goal will be to find where the blockage in the vacuum line is and clear it. I will recommend watching the video to the end to see the various type of blockage that can happen in the system. The first thing is to check the filter. It is located on the top here. When this stays green while the vacuum is in use, it means that the filter is okay but it might not be very clean. If it turns to red, that means the filter is extremely dirty and will need to be cleaned. A dirty filter can result in the motor working too hard and overheat which will trigger the system to turn off. The filter is washable and should not be left to get dirty enough to change this green to red. To wash the filter, push this knob upwards to release the dustbin. Then pull this little thing right here to open the lid to access the filter. Remove the filter. You can see that this filter is very dirty even though it's not dirty enough to turn the filter switch from green to red, which may result in the motor overheating and the vacuum not working properly. Just wash the filter at the pipe until the water coming through is clear. No soap is needed. Try to get as much water out as possible to speed up the drying time and leave it to dry. It is better to left overnight before use. It is also a good idea to have two filters available so you can pop one out and one in, then wash the dirty one. You may also wash the dustbin even though it is not necessary. The dustbin just need to be checked to ensure that no trash is stuck anywhere inside. However, if you wish to wash this bin safely, follow these steps. Get a star head screwdriver and remove these three screws. Take this lid off along with this seal here. Take out this centerpiece by turning in the counterclockwise direction. You can see a lot of dust here and I will wash at the pipe with a car detailing brush. No soap is needed. These are the pieces all cleaned. Reinstall these pieces. This can only be installed one way. Just find the smallest side here to match with the smallest notch here. Insert and turn clockwise to lock in place. Reinstall this seal. I will clean it a bit first. Align the holes in the seal with the screw holes. Install the lid aligning the screw holes as well. Insert the screws and tighten with a screwdriver. Install filter after it is dried and that's all for the filter and the dustbin. Now I will address clearing a blockage in the vacuum line. The trick is to know where to check to see if there is any blockage. Let's remove and check the main hose. Press this release button and pull out this end. Move to the other end. To remove the other end, twist to the left and push down. Check the hose line for any trash. If anything is stuck here, use anything you have to get it out. I will use a broomstick which works very well. So now the hose is clear, there are two more places to check. Check this pipe here which channels trash to the bin. Ensure it is cleared. Finally. Check the holes that take trash from where the spin brush is. Check from the bottom and remove any trash seen. If trash is stuck really bad in this hose, you might have to use something to push it out. I will be using a stick which is too big to pass through this tip. 
I will first remove this tip, but if you have something that can fit through here, you don't have to. To remove the tip, remove these two screws. Use a flat screwdriver to remove the head here. Try not to damage the hose. Now the tip is off. I can push the stick all the way through. You can see the tip right here, so it is cleared. If you have followed all these steps, your vacuum line will be cleared and the system will breathe properly. It will work like it is brand new. Just put everything back in place and start to vacuum. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. See you on the next one guys.